Namaste. I Rasika Dikshit Hatolka welcome you all to Rasika Believe channel. Today my subject is English and my topic is grammar. I have started with the English grammar first topic which is alphabets. We have also done with the revision of that. But today I'm not going to start with the second chapter. Today I'm going to introduce you the number of chapters we are going to cover in the future. you can see english grammar isn't it see how interesting it is to see so many topics are there which are so interesting english grammar starts with the first topic that is alphabets see carefully another topics we can have a title that is a part of speech under which comes nouns pronouns adjectives verbs adverbs preposition conjunction interjection what are they how i will explain you and i will give you lots of example to understand it don't worry it's really very easy let's go a little bit in, more deep to the ocean of english grammar you can see articles you can see punctuations tenses sentences phrases clauses paragraph writing story writing poem writing letter writing comprehensions is essay writing autobiographies dialogue writing and common abbreviations what are these are these so many topics we have to cover to learn english to speak english fluently no not exactly but if you learn it's your profits yes see these all topics are very easy i will explain you each topic in details so that will help you to make english more familiar to you i always suggest to my students in a classroom also even if i am teaching history geography or english or maths any subject it may be accountancy or economics for the higher classes but i keep on telling my students always read the index again and again when you get familiar with the names of the topics which are there in your syllabus it's very easy for you to understand it now what happen you are watching a youtube channel there comes a ad in between when you watch those ad Sometimes you get little bit confused on what the ad is exactly. Like nowadays there is a ad on coding and testing free online classes are available. Now many of you have been question mark what is coding and what is testing and what is decoding, right? It may be a question for you and it's normal. But if I know the topics what it is relevant to okay it is relevant to the apps it is relevant to the computer then it is very easy for me to understand more about it in the same way when in a classroom there are so many students and a teacher know each and everybody's name okay take a common person who stays in a society and if this person know the name of every person in the society neighbors everybody's name he is familiar or she is familiar to then what happened if any person is talking about that xyz person with the name you are getting relevance of it okay they are talking relevant to that person they are talking about his behavior they are talking what mistake he has done they are talking what a good work he has done they are appreciating their work now if you know the person you will enjoy that topic more okay you would be able to participate in the conversation more if you don't want to participate at least you will understand the conversation in the same way if you are familiar with the names of the topics it is very easy for you to grab whatever a person is talking about 
like you know there are as i say they are interconnected with each other if a teacher is teaching about nouns definitely somewhere i am going to talk about pronouns when i am talking about adjectives i am going to talk about adverb verbs also they are interlocked with each other when we make a complete sentences in that sentence each word is depended on the other each word i would say each topic is related or depended on the other like noun is depended on the verb and adjective adjective and verb are depended on adverb and noun in the same way so you need to know the topic the name if i am telling you see this is because the adverb is here now what is adverb if i don't know how i will understand if i am talking about the verbs also so that makes more confusion and that's why no confusion until you know the name of the topic in many cases it happens a teacher is teaching about a history also any topic she keep on telling about the previous topic or the upcoming topics so if the student are familiar with the index all the names the student get it oh this is talking about that topic isn't it <laughs> it is interesting so what you have to do is read the index again and again get familiar with the topics of any subject you are going to have in your syllabus correct and one more thing now i will make it little bit more easy i will make you explain more in details in my previous video i have taught you about the alphabets in my upcoming video i am going to teach you about nouns my next video will be on the nouns see nouns also are divided into many kinds you can see the name of a person place animal thing that is a ppat shortcut ppat yes the name of person place animal thing is nothing but the noun i am going to teach you in the next video but just in short and a very easy to remember for a long time this is what i am going to share with you you can see the next topic is pronoun which is used instead of a noun the word used instead of a noun is called pronoun the next is adjective which add adjective which add something meaning of a noun which add something meaning of a noun noun ko koi to bhi ek alag sa relevant meaningful word add karta hai wo hota hai adjective is it then we have verb which is used to express the action or the state of a noun the next we have is adverb which adds something to the adjective and verb preposition next you can see there is a preposition in preposition we preposition is nothing but which shows uh, the relevance with the another word it may be again noun or pronoun okay so it shows the relevant it is where what about it okay so i will tell you in deep when i will teach you preposition but now you get it the next is conjunction conjunction are nothing but which are the words used which are used to join two words or two sentences then we have interjection interjection is nothing but a sudden expressions wow oh i will tell you more in deep but in my interjection video but for today now you understand that these are the easy topics we have to just go through there are the part of speech then we have articles articles are nothing but it shows the a and and the where to use it how to use it then we have punctuations punctuations are very important where to use comma where to use full stop where to use question mark where to use exclamatory and where to use apostrophe s yes it marks a very important point then we have tenses the tenses which plays the main role in the grammar 
everything is somewhere surrounded to the tenses or we can say it is the main pillar of the grammar past future and present it talks about all the three things yes then we have sentences now once i know all the small things that each word comes in which category it may be adjective it may be the noun i know that words now i know the tenses which is the past which is the future which is the present which word to be used now i know where to use the full stop where to use the comma and where to use the question mark now i also know where to add how to join the uh, sentences all that i have now in my hand now what i can learn now i can make to learn the sentences in the sentences there are subject and predicate how to join them how to write that is also more interesting it will come in future with those videos and you will really enjoy english then we have phrases particular lines which are used for particular things then clauses then we have paragraph writing see if you learn once how to write the sentences you can write the paragraphs it is also an art so it also have the rules which you have to follow so so learning those rules what are the rules while writing the paragraph we are going to see in the english grammar and same it continues with the story writing poem writing letter writing comprehensions essay writing autobiography dialogue writing and common abbreviations that are nothing but the shortcuts we use so the long form i will going to tell you in that video so now you know all the index that what we are going to cover in english grammar there are many videos to come down but till that keep reading the index again and again and wait till my next video on nouns introduce to you all about nouns see you soon stay tuned with the rasika believe channel till that bye bye